Hi, mommies. This is Teacher Liza of the Galileo Enrichment Learning Program, where we believe that learning could be fun, meaningful, and exciting. Here at Galileo, we provide your little buddies with learning experiences about the world through creative, imaginative, and meaningful activities. Welcome to our classroom! Hi everyone! Today we are going to be playing a fun game with the use of our Chucky Packs that will challenge your buddy's balancing skills. Today's lesson is all about playing with weight and balance. Did you know that through a fun game of stacking, we can teach our little buddies about balance, strategy, and concentration? And they can even make their own blocks using Chucky! For today's lesson of playing with weight and balance, we will be needing collared papers, tape, scissors, collared markers, and 15 pieces of Chucky Tetra Packs. Through parent and child playtime such as this, you are actually encouraging your little buddies to think creatively, and it also strengthens your bond kasi minsan lang sila bata. Since we have our 250 ml Tetra Pack from Chucky, we are going to wash it and dry it. Once we're done with that, we're ready to wrap it. So I'm going to be getting a green colored paper for today. Now, I'm going to be laying it flat on the table such as this and fold the paper inwards and seal it with a clear tape. You can even use double-sided tape for this as long as the colored paper stays attached to our chucky box. If there are any excess, we can just cut it with our scissors in a straight line, but please do not forget to remind your little buddies that we have to be careful in using the scissors. So here, I'm going to be cutting it on this side on a straight line, like so. Put the scissors aside and seal the other end. We can actually pretend that we're wrapping gifts because we'll be wrapping 15 of these boxes. I know 15 is such a big number, but if you drink this healthy and nutritious drink every day, I know it's gonna be easy for you to collect them. Now, does this look like a block used for stacking? Not yet, because we still have open ends. So. so what we're going to do now is we're going to cut the excess colored paper so that when we fold it, it's going to be lying flat on the box. We're going to be folding the sides inwards. Pinch it a little so that it's going to have a flat surface like the rest of the faces of the box. And seal it again with the clear tape. Now we'll do the other side as well. That's the last open and the side of our block. Here we go. Don't worry, we're almost done wrapping it. I'm going to be folding it inwards again. And use the clear tape to lock it all in. And we're done with our Chucky block. But this time, since it's very clear and we have a lot of surface area that you could let your little buddies draw on, you could give them markers, colorful markers, that they may use in decorating our Chucky blocks. Now, I'll give you an example. I'm going to be drawing, oh, a happy Mr. Sun. I'm sure they know who this is. You could actually let them decide on what to draw. I know that they could do better than me in drawing. So I'll put some rays of the sun and a happy face. 
There we go. Now when we're done with 15 of all of these, it's time to play and stack. Did you know that grade schoolers grow and develop at a fast pace? Kaya pagdating sa baon nila, bigyan mo sila ng love nilang Chucky. Milk siya. Tilang chocolate. With the nutrients your child needs for school and play. Minsan lang sila bata, ipabaon mo na. Now that we're done wrapping and decorating 15 of our Chucky boxes, it's time to play and stack. We can even drink our Chucky together with your little buddies as we are playing this game. So for the first layer, we are going to be getting three of our wrap boxes and put it horizontally like so. Now that we're done with our base or our first layer, we're going to be needing three boxes again to make up our second layer. But this time, instead of flying it down horizontally, we are going to lie it vertically. So this is our second layer. We'll get three again. And we'll do horizontally for the third layer. And then get another three for the fourth layer. And lie it down vertically. And for the fifth layer, we have to put it on top of the fourth layer horizontally. Galileo believes that we can learn even through play. So mommies, let's take this opportunity to teach our little buddies the concept of skip counting by three and of multiplication as repeated addition. So if we have three on the first layer, plus three on the second layer, plus another three on the third layer, and another three on the fourth, and the final three on the fifth, how many boxes would we have in total? And wait for them to answer that we have 15 boxes in total. And since multiplication is repeated addition, you could just ask them if we have three boxes in each layer and five layers in total, three times five would be also equal to 15 boxes. Now it's time to play with our tower. In this game, we are going to let each player take a turn in removing one of the boxes from layers 1 until 4. We're not allowed to take any from the fifth layer because it's the topmost layer of this tower. Now, thinking about which block to remove teaches your little buddies their decision-making skills. They have to think about which block, if removed, will still make the tower stand tall. Now, I've decided on which block I have to remove and it's this green one on the second layer. I'm going to push it out and catch it on the other side and carefully put it on top of the fifth layer. Make sure that your little buddies put it on carefully so that we will keep the balance of our tower. Now this game goes on and on until the tower topples over. But let me share a tactic for all of you. If you want to create a taller tower, keep the first layer or our base intact. Because if you want to create a taller tower, we have to create a wider base. Let me see. How about if I remove this green one over here and put it right on top? Will it still be balanced? I don't think so. So mommies, even if our tower falls, don't worry to try again. The more rounds, the more your little buddies can learn. And there you have it, an exciting and thrilling game for your buddies to enjoy. Our buddies learned more about math, decision-making skills, balance, and strategy made more fun with Chucky. For more ideas, go to the Ready Academy playlist found at the Nestle Philippines channel for more fun and meaningful activities updated every week. This has been Teacher Liza of the Galileo Enrichment Learning Program and I'll see you again in the next Ready Academy. My chocolatey buddy.